Three of the four teams have booked their place at Hamden in the Scottish Cup and Rangers became the third of those teams. We are three now win today over Championship Rafe Rovers who I've got to be honest were absolute dog meat. Yes they were, they weren't very good but I tell you what, I tell you what, they nearly made it 1-0 after a few minutes. <laughs> they had a chance, they didn't take it and that was like pretty much the only chance they got the entire game. Poor showing for Rafe Rovers. I thought Rangers were average at best. Yeah, average at best. I wasn't good for Rangers. No, I'll no. be honest. It was fucking piss maybe, maybe Rangers were struggling without the Union Bells there to support them. So a little incident before the game started. Union Bells were not allowed in with their banners. They were turned away. So they decided that they were going to protest by essentially not taking part in the game and, and not taking their seats. So there's quite a lot of empty seats in Ibrox. Even if you take away the Union Bear section, overall, you can see us you can see empty ski- seats scattered but when through I, when all four stands. The only st- the only part of the stadium that was full was like the Rafe Rovers end. When I looked for tickets the day, it was actually pretty full like there was a few here in the I mean I, what was the what was the attendance? I think it was forty one thousand. I'd say that's probably believable. That's uh, so about eighty percent full. Aye, uh. aye. So yeah, that, I'd say that's about right. So that's pretty poor, is it not? Scottish Cup quarter final. Take out the all Union Bears. Ah oh, well, at least Rangers never sold tickets to Rafe Rovers fans to sit in the other end. Exactly. I've seen that. There was a Celtic fan though at the game. I had a Celtic FC hat on. Sad bastard. Anyway, uh, Rangers struggled to make doing Rafe Rovers. They tried, they tried, they tried, but they, they didn't really create anything fucking great. I mean, Jamie McDonald didn't have any really good saves to make. A few times where he went down or he clattered into his own player and the referee brought a halt to play. That was like the only interesting stuff that happened in the first half until, of course, Connor Goldson did break the deadlock four minutes before half time. I'm not saying this was a crucial goal, but you have to wonder like, what would have happened if Rafe Rovers got it into 0-0 at the break, how that would have changed the second half. Would the crowd have began to get on the back of Rangers? I think it would have been interesting, but like I said, Rafe Rovers, they concede at pretty much the worst time to concede. Exactly, and, and the, the, at this point, I wouldn't say there was no way back. I mean, I guess they could have scored a goal, which, you know, they had the, the odd chance. I mean, the guy had the bad angle and he should have shot and he didn't, he cut it back. Isma was pretty isolated up front. Former Hamilton man just was on his own. Apparently, Rafe Rovers were missing eight first team players today. Not sure that's true because I, I don't really keep up with the Rafe Rovers starting 11. But, um, nah, yeah, it was, you know, we're getting to the second half. Own goal by Nolan. Now, this ball goes in, Tavernier whips it in, takes the deflection off Nolan, and it's, a, you know, it's a, to be fair, it's a perfect finish right into the corner of the net the Rangers fans start celebrating Rangers start playing the wee celebration goal music and it's like I mean come on it's a wee bit Maria, embarrassing I yeah. like it I like it loud that wee song and like you know I mean you're, you're literally and honestly I'm not saying don't celebrate a goal like but Jesus Christ it was an own goal yeah, it, was a peach, it was a peach and a goal and we see it we, see for like a goal it's such like with such placement it, it's weird that it actually happens, happens more often isn't it it is in my um, opinion but I tell you what I'll be going Mental in a minute of Rangers make it 3 0. So, uh, aye, but they did make it 3 0. Scott Arfield, they brought on the subs. But again, I questioned why couldn't Yilmaz and Suter have started this game? It would have been nice to see, um, I think Hadji too. I think it would have been nice to see Hadji start the game. But it's good to see Rangers, you know, get players back for injury. They've had the likes of Suter and Hadji have been out far too long. Uh, obviously, we know Roof is out for the season, but yeah, it's just too many injuries in general for Rangers. So, I mean, it's, it's good to see them getting players back. I mean, I thought the third goal was pretty good. Hadji uh, out in the wing, managed to cut in, played it to Cantwell, who was in quite a lot of space, and then Cantwell slotted it across for Scotty Arfield, who got the goal. wasn't quite as good as his goals against Aberdeen a few months ago, but it was a, it was a goal nonetheless to top off a, an easy 3-0 win for Rangers so Rangers into the semi-finals I feel like this has been a bit of a one-man band review so we're just going to go end it there because uh, aye but I feel like the draw should have been the day though I get it yep the, I mean no one really cares about the championship side in my opinion once Rangers and Celtic are through to the next round let us know if they're getting each other or not but now we need to wait till tomorrow night and I guess I guess it gives people a reason to tune in to BBC Scotland like but still yeah but that's the thing 
See with this whole Gary Lineker situation, there'll be, no, there'll be no commentary, there'll just be a game. And they'll just pop up on the screen, right. they'll be need to draw it for I that. I don't even think they'll be need to draw it for that. That, that That's sucks, a fixed man. draw. It's just gonna, I, honestly, it's just gonna pop up, Rangers and Celtic don't meet in the semis. I know, literally. But anyway, troops, that is us. Till the morrow, till Air and Falkirk, it'll be a good wee game. But until the morrow, till then, predictions over for the draw. I'm feeling like it's going to be an old Farn Eaver side. I don't know. They'll, they'll avoid each other in the semis, I think. That's right. my prediction. They will. And that is my prediction. Also, it will be an old firm final because people say it's going to be a repeat of Inverness and um, Celtic for 2015. I don't see that happening. But yeah, Rangers got over the line. Rafe Rovers. I mean, if Partick, F- Partick Fistle gave Rangers a game, Rafe did he haw. Yeah. I think they'll be very disappointed. But you know what? They made a bit of money and all that good stuff. Well, maybe Rangers should have let them score, make the game a bit more competitive. Right. But Tillman, he wasn't playing to shaft them. So anyway, that's it. Fog Football side note. Check out the new career modes coming soon. Next gen, PS5, best of gear. Dundee United, Valencia. That's it for now. That's it. Da, 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 da. Peace. <laughs>